Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Over the last few months, I've been doing a Road to Halo Infinite series where I've been playing through all of the mainline Halo games. So that's Halo Combat Evolved all the way through to Halo 5. Haven't played Halo Wars yet, but might do in the future. And the reason for the series is A, because they're all incredibly classic games. I mean, it's Halo 2's birthday today. B, Halo Infinite is right around the corner and it just sort of makes sense in the swell of hype leading up to it to make some content for Halo fans. And C, I'd never played them before. Somehow, I had just gone through my entire life never having actually played like a Halo campaign. That has now changed. I've done the series. It's linked in the description if you want to watch it. I've been converted. I love Halo. I love all of the games. I even love Halo 5, which might be a surprise to some of you. But the next natural step before I jump into Infinite is probably to watch a little bit of the marketing material that has been released already for Halo Infinite and see what sort of fun things are going to be coming in this game on the horizon. Now, I've been very careful in picking these trailers today. There is one that I have never seen before and one that I actually got an opportunity to see at E3 when it was revealed. It was an incredible experience. We'll get to that in a minute. First, let's watch this first teaser. So this I've never seen before. I saw people talking about it at the time and I was like, I don't know anything about Halo. I'll pass. It's fine. But now I know so much about the universe and I've still got so much to learn, but I'm so much more kind of up to date with things than I was. It should be a really interesting watch. So without further ado, Let's do this. Headphones securely on. Halo 3, E3 2018 announcement trailer. Exclusive. Okay, so it's a game engine demonstration. And at this point, this is three years old. So it's not going to be exactly what we're getting in the actual game itself. It's just a, it's a vibe check. Oh, man. What the? Since when are there, like... The only, like, wildlife I remember is that big thing that attacks you in Reach. And, like, some other, like, chicken-looking things. There are Halo rings. Okay, I bet the crowd was going crazy for that at E3. I bet they were going nuts. Oh. Oh. Oh, it looks so pretty. What is... Was that, like, a... Nope. It's... It's, <laughs> it's not a brute. It's a rhinoceros. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, there's so much life to it, even though it's empty. Wow. What is that? Wait, wh what is that? We have to go back and look at that. Who... Who are they? Oh, it's just a random group of Marines, I guess. With battle rifles, of course. Oh, man, that's a lot of... Oh man, there's even... I thought it was going to end there. Those forerunner structures look crazy. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Powered by the slip space engine. Oh. Oh, 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 I've got chills, dude. I literally have goosebumps right now. Dude, the bing, like piano, dong. And then it's like, da, da, da. Oh my God, the Halo music, man. That's one of the things that like before, I just didn't know, guys. I did not realize the music in Halo is just so good. What was that thing in the water though? Right here. Look at this. Is, is it like an exploring robot? Like it, oh bro, it looks, and there's, look, there's like a whole structure here. I didn't even notice that before. Oh my God. This game is going to have so much room for you to explore and find things that they just couldn't do in the previous games. Halo 5 came out in 2015. Games were, relatively speaking to now, so much simpler back then, despite the fact that they were so much more complex in 5 than they were in, let's say, like, Halo 2 or something. Like, there was so much room for them to do stuff with the tech 
at that point in 2015, but there wasn't room for them to do stuff like this. Like, all of the stuff you can find in Halo 5, I know Halo 5's hated and stuff, but there is a huge amount of stuff you can find in the world. Like, you can find random data pads all over the place. You can find a lot of different conversations from different characters in different areas. You can get your random named weapons, stuff like that. You can kick grunts off little cliff sides. You can do all sorts of little tiny Easter eggs and stuff. Like, there's a lot of stuff like that that rewards the exploration. But in this game, I mean... There's going to be even more of that. There's going to be a hundred times the amount. I mean, it's going to be so rich. And that's why I was saying here, this is empty, but it feels alive. Like, I don't know how to really truly describe that. It just feels like this world is just like tangible. Also, what was that smoke? Hold on. Wait a sec here. So this looks like, I think, elite, like Sankhili writing. Maybe not. I feel like Sankhili is more like claw marky. I don't really know what that is, to be honest. Kind of saying, like, it reminds me of Halo 5, the Sankhili stuff on the walls. But anyway, was that a war? Okay, I think that was a warthog. A little sneaky thing that they've snuck in there, I suppose. And maybe it's not a warthog. Maybe it's like a ghost or something. Who knows? But then there are these guys. And I don't know if these are like characters I'm meant to recognize. I'm guessing they're not. I mean, they show their sort of like legs. And then pretty much straight away, they just go to this wide shot, which makes me think think these aren't important characters. I also don't know which Halo ring this is. Like, I, I don't have any kind of way as a newer Halo fan to... Oh, <laughs> it's so good to distinguish between them. I don't know if, like, some are more grassy than others or only one of them has this, like, snowy mound. I don't know. I'm not sure how you would recognize it, but it looks really damn cool. And the forerunner structures here, man, that is a really cool design. The way I would describe this is, like, you know when you get a piece of RAM for your PC, and it just looks like an object of the gods. Like, it is just crafted in such a way that makes it look, like, so sleek. And you just know if you reached out and touched it, it would be so cold to the touch. There is a premium feeling to that. It's a kind of hard thing to describe, but that's, like, the vibe that I get just looking at that. Literally just looking at it. I also like the fact here, this is a tiny detail, the fact that as it goes into shadow as they pan the camera around, the structure itself almost sort of retains a little bit of glow. Like, look at that. The whole area is getting darker. Granted, it's a taller structure, so it's going to, but just because of how sort of reflective it is, I suppose, it's it stands out amongst the terrain. There. It looks, uh, that looks really, really cool to me. Very, very cool stuff. And also, I know I'm like big braining a two minute trailer here, but that's what I do. I mean, I'm Mr. Off Waffles. I break things down ad nauseum. It turns to nighttime and it's Halo Infinite and it's very happy. But then it goes back to daytime. So does this game have a day-night cycle? I actually don't know that. Like, I am out of the loop with Halo Infinite. If we're going to get a day-night cycle, like, are we... Is this going to be, like, an open-world Halo game? Like, more so than ever before? I actually don't know. But that's really exciting. And just the potential for exploration. And we're all going to be able to spend time in this world that isn't dependent on us doing an objective. We're just going to be able to breathe the air. Like, that is going to be an exciting thing. So with that done, we can now move on to Discover Hope. I watched Discover Hope live at E3, and I didn't know what was going on. I'm gonna be honest, I've never known what was going on in Halo before. The sort of few things that I did see always ended up being like, Master Chief being missing, which I guess is quite a funny thing to look back on now. I just remember people being like, I wonder what happened to Chief. And then a couple years later, they'd be like, I wonder what happened to Chief. And so going into this trailer, that's basically what I was expecting. And when I saw it, I was like, all right, I mean, that seems like John Halo, but I didn't understand anything else. Not a single other thing. And I'm probably not going to understand a bunch of stuff in it still today, but I'm hoping that now that I'm rewatching it with all of the knowledge of the past games in my brain, I'll hopefully be a little bit less confused than I was at E3. So with that said, let's do this. Okay, so first of all, I don't know who this guy is. Hopefully that's not too embarrassing. I just have no idea. Like, all I remember from this trailer is this guy gets a bigger beard at some point, Master Chief shows up, and... That, I think that's actually all I remember. I really don't remember a lot. Because I just didn't get a lot of it at the time. So he's trying to get out here. I'm also guessing that he's a generic guy. And that's why I don't recognize him. Hopefully. He's kind of got like Halo 5 uh, chief shaped pads on his front though. You know the like toilet seat looking thing around his neck in the Halo 5? Kind of got, like, a little, little bit of that vibe going on. Obviously, it's totally different armor. I'm not saying he's got, like, Spartan armor on. I'm just saying the shape of it. All right, so he's getting a valve here. You got it, buddy. God, the graphics look... Oh. 
Oh, that's a gun. There's a pistol, right? And there's some Pokemon cards. Is that a pistol or is that a screwdriver? Maybe it's a screwdriver. What is this? What is this? I don't think I recognize this. From oh. Daddy's listening. Can you say hi? And how big are you? I'm baby. Can you tell daddy how big you are? Are you so big? Oh my god. <laughs> and can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss you? Miss you. And I love you. I love you. I love you, daddy. I love you, daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Good then. Bye bye. Bye bye. I didn't remember that. Oh. Yeah, it's real, bud. It's real. This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNSC... <sighs> Bro, can you imagine floating in space and just bumping into Master Chief? Wow. Bring him in, bud. Bring him in. Wait, so what is Chief doing in space? Why is he there? Looks is like the main a... power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to overwrite. There's been a survival mode this whole time. Okay. If you can hear me in there. Didn't think to use that when the jackals were ready. shooting me, did you? Did you, Chief? Please don't die. Please. Don't. Die. Yo. Huh? Yes. Oh, this yes. is... Yes! I forgot it we're goes to... We're going home! It goes to gameplay. <laughs> oh. I forgot that. Welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what needle power I had into your suit. Oh my god. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Oh. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. Wait. AI not detected? Okay. Okay. I didn't know you could get data chips like that whoa, 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 whoa. without AI in there, them. Big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. His armor does look really good. It does look really good. I like that it looks like a continuous suit. Lost. What? Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. Team here is. Not then. When is this? Not again. I'm so confused. We need to run. No, we need a fight. Oh! <laughs> Get ready, dude. Give me the ba 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 ba. Oh! <laughs> I chose you because you were special. Right.
my god, wow! That had no where near the emotional impact the first time round when I hadn't played the Halo games. Oh my god! Like, it was good. Don't get me wrong. First time I watched it, it was good, but I wasn't expecting this. Can I just say, I feel so much emotion for this man. If they kill this man off, I am going to be so upset. <laughs> I'm going to be so... One trailer, literally 60 seconds, 60 seconds of time with unnamed man. I would die. I would die for this man. I would die for this man. Oh, and, and also when, when it goes to gameplay here, what he says... Yes! Yes! We're going home! We're going home, man. After Halo 4 and Halo 5, that is very intentional wording. Very intentional. Like, no doubt in my mind. And just, oh my god, it looks so incredible in gameplay. Like, this is actual gameplay footage, and it's just, it's just mind-blowing. It looks so unbelievably good. So my question that I'm not going to read the comment section for, because it's, it's a rhetorical question. For those of you that aren't aware, I like being kind of in the dark with this stuff and, like, figuring out what's going on and not really knowing and like making a theory and then being wrong i enjoy that i could just read the wiki and know everything about halo but that's not nearly as interesting to me so my head cannony kind of question that i'm curious about here is when exactly is this taking place because he's gone into stasis he's been floating in space halo 5 does not end with chief just floating in space He's reunited with the Arbiter on Sanghelios, I think, because that's where Arby is with Halsey, right? So the fact that he's now just been in space and he's like status report and doesn't know what's going on is a bit weird to me. Like, I feel like there might have been a big time jump. I think Halo 5 happens in 2558. And I kind of wonder, like during the diagnostic stuff here, when it's like his armor bios and stuff like that, Mjolnir, power armor, all of that stuff, Gen 3. Actually, this is really cool. There's some really cool information in here. Last modified by C. Halsey in 2561. So that straight away means we're in at least 2561. And if my memory is right that we were in 2558 in Halo 5, I guess there's been a huge amount of content that we've just missed. Or at least I've just missed. It's probably been in books and in all sorts of other stuff. Module name Visa, preparing intrusion countermeasures, system peril distributed reflex, SPDR. These, I believe, I remember hearing at the time, they are Xbox Live codes. Or maybe it's Maybe it's Game Pass codes. Either way, it's like codes for people that were like eagle-eyed and picked these out really quickly. And then you've got the warning, no AI detected. And that's that. So he doesn't just magically have another AI. He hasn't just been given another AI or something. Like, I guess no one can replace Cortana for Chief, right? So despite the fact that Cortana goes at the end of Halo 5 and Chief is left after coming out of the, what was it called? The Cryptex? Something like that. Cryptum, the Cryptum. He hasn't like taken on board a new AI or anything. But he does have this chip. And I don't really know... What the deal is with that, it's a weapon containment device. What does that mean? Is that like a virus maybe? Like that's the weapon and it's contained in the chip and he's just sort of holding it there for safekeeping? Or is there an AI weapon? I mean, it says AI not detected, so it's not just going to be an AI. But yeah, that's that's interesting. Maybe I'm missing something super obvious about that, but I don't know what the deal is with weapon containment device in that scenario. And also here, he says, wait for it. We lost. We lost. Okay. Lost everything. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. Nothing left for us here. I don't think what here is. I don't know what he says there. Like, that line is really unclear to me. The music's pretty... Maybe... Oh, wait. Maybe the subs have it. I don't even know where here it, bro. There's no way that he said those syllables just... I don't think what here is. He goes, I don't think where here is. <laughs> what? Is he speaking a different language there or something? Is that, like, marine shorthand? And another thing I'm confused about is the fact that... In this shot here, we see this is this ruptured ring, right? But is this the ring that we blew up? Because that ring broke on both sides. Like, both ends of that ring blew up because one bit exploded and then part of the chunks of it hit the other side of the ring. But this doesn't look like it's broken other than here. Like, in this shot as well, earlier on, just before we get to this bit, it looks complete apart from on this broken bit. Am I- am I being dumb? Like, or is that- is that legit? There is like a chunk of something over here, but maybe this is another ring. Maybe it's not that ring that we blew up. I'm sure these planets, like, tell us, so... I'm sure people are, like, very confident where this is. I'm just not 100% sure. And I'm also kind of wondering what it is. would be perfect. 
together. He's walking towards. Like what? Right. What is that? Because he takes his chip out here as well. I don't know. And I was right. Is that like a visualizer? Together. And I was right. I have questions. I definitely have questions. But they're all good questions to have. I'm sure these are long answered. I'm sure you guys watching this right now are like, it's, it's Gamma Halo, Milo. It's Gamma Halo or like whatever. But like I said, I kind of embrace not really knowing here because it's really fun for me to be like, oh, like those moments just, they just make me happy. Uh, but that was Discover Hope and also the E3 2018 announcement trailer. Hopefully you've enjoyed my reaction here and let me know if there's any other Halo Infinite teasers that you think would be essential for me to take a look at. I haven't seen any other promotional material for the game. I haven't seen the campaign gameplay. I haven't participated in the flights even though I got invited. I'm pretty much blind to this game right now. So let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.